All right, guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Check this out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm easily amused. <laughs> it's pretty sexy, to be honest. I'm not using any modifiers. I'm not using like a clipping modifier or anything like this. I'm actually using a material node in Blender Octane. And it's pretty cool, especially if you're doing like CAD breakdowns and stuff like this. It comes in incredibly handy. And it's really easy to use. Uh, just to give you a quick view to save you a little bit of time, you have a clipping material, it goes into the surface that you want to clip, and that is pretty much it. There is a few caveats, and there's a couple of things that I can show you that can kind of maybe help your workflow a little bit. So stay with me, stay with me, don't leave the video now. Uh, if I put shade flat on, you can see that we can now see the polygons in the background. So if you have smoothing on the object, this obviously helps. Um, Another thing that we can do is, you can notice that the intersection here is actually a material, so if you take this off, it'll just be the material that's applied to the, the cube, for example. But you can change this to the intersection, and obviously we can change this about. And again, when you move it around, perfect. But there is a thing called priority. Uh, generally this is set at 100, uh, because generally you don't have 100 objects with clipping. But just to give you a working example here, uh, if I go to add mesh, let's add in a default cube, let's give it a new material. Let's take this off and we'll just add in a clipping material. Uh, let's apply this to the cube. You'll see that it'll start to clip. But you might have lots of these objects in the scene and you might have two objects intersecting and you don't want to actually clip through or maybe you just want to clip through one of these and this is what setting the priority does so if you actually go to the material properties of the cube uh, we have a universal material you see a way down the bottom here that you have priority and I've set this to 1 so I'm going to actually set this to 2 and I'm going to go back to my clipping object which is here and I'm going to set the priority of this to 1 so what will happen here is when I move the cube uh, it's basically ignored because the priority is lower. Uh, so for example, if I set a priority to 3 now, it'll now clip. And that is pretty much the clipping material node. Now, if you run into artifacts or if you run into things just not working correctly, it could be a custom ray issue and you can enable it here. And it actually gives you a little bit more detail. In fact, Octane have a really good kind of breakdown. Uh, let me just quickly put this into view for you. They have a really good breakdown, uh, it tells you about precision, it tells you about issues, uh, it tells you about things that might go wrong with it. Uh, for example, shadows, you might get intersecting shadows and stuff like this. So just be aware, I'll leave all the links in the description down below, but that is pretty much the clipping node. It's so cool. Anyway, do me a favour guys, <laughs> take care.